Welcome. This is our top story at this hour. The crisis in Ukraine is increasingly looking like a proxy war between an assertive Russia and a Vladimir Putin and the NATO military alliance led by the United States. Ukraine is at the heart of the crisis. There are hectic diplomatic parleys that are presently underway. The United States is negotiating with the Russians over the frontiers of the NATO military alliance and Ukraine has become the battleground for the two big powers to test their diplomatic and military muscle. In this context, the comments made by the German naval chief while speaking in New Delhi highlights the severity of the decision being taken on Ukraine. And following his comments, Vice Admiral Kai Achim Schonbach was forced to step down. The now former German naval chief dismissed the possibility of Russia imminently invading Ukraine and also went so far as to say that President Vladimir Putin deserved respect. In his unguarded assessment, the Vice Admiral also insisted that Ukraine will never be able to win back the region of Crimea that was annexed by Russia in 2014. Comments that landed him in hot soup that he chose to call it quits. In a statement, Kai Akin said, and I quote, My rash remarks in India are increasingly putting a strain on my office. I consider this step necessary to avert further damage to the German Navy, the German forces, and in particular, the Federal Republic of Germany. The resignation follows a day after Schoenbach apologized for the comments. Prior to the resignation, the German Defense Ministry publicly criticized the remarks and said it did not reflect Germany's position in either content or wording. On NATO's eastward expansion, the chief said that any country that has sovereignty and meets all requirements must be allowed to join NATO. He however said that Ukraine cannot meet the requirements as it is occupied in the Donbass region. Listen to the comments which landed the German Navy chief in trouble. As long as a country has seen its sovereignty and decides we want to join NATO and it meets all the requirements, like, like EU, might meet all requirements to be a member, I would say yes. Uh, and I think Germany is, is still doing this. Um, Okay, Ukraine, of course, cannot meet the requirements because it's occupied. China is not that nice country that we probably thought of. That China is more than a rival. And in case of, they will fight for what they think what is their side. Latvian Foreign Minister took a swipe at the chief by quoting a German statesman, Otto von Bismarck, that a conquering army on the border will not be stopped by eloquence. Russia does not want NATO's expansion to countries like Ukraine and others bordering it. It has demanded security guarantees from the West and NATO that Ukraine does not join the bloc. Several talks earlier this month have, however, still not yielded any results. And for more on that, our principal diplomatic correspondent, Sidhant Sibal, sent us this report. Heads have rolled after the comments by the German Navy chief here in Delhi over the Russian President Vladimir Putin and Ukraine. He said that Russian President need respect and Ukraine can't join NATO and Crimea is lost forever. The comments had created a lot of political controversy back home in Germany and also in Ukraine. The Ukrainian Foreign Ministry on Saturday had summoned the German envoy to Kiev and uh, we know that in Berlin uh, the naval chief stepped down. Uh, uh, dramatic developments happening in what was supposed to be a quiet visit to New Delhi to showcase Berlin's increased engagement in the Indo-Pacific ended up being a diplomatic disaster at a time when we know that Europe uh, is uh, dealing with one of its worst uh, military crises uh, with the Russian build-up uh, at the border with Ukraine. There are, of course, fears uh, from the Western world of uh, an invasion by the Russians, something that Moscow has dismissed. Uh, and the comments uh, made by the naval chief, the German naval chief, were controversial because uh, it gave a different uh, narrative, uh, a voice uh, which went against the current narrative coming from uh, Europe. Uh, and that showed a kink uh, 
and uh, a kind of division when it comes to the voices coming from Europe. With video journalist Neeraj Patel, Sidhan Sibyl for Vion in New Delhi. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.